Hello everyone. This video is going to be taking you through the process that you're going to need to complete. Creating a Google form, asking teachers and educators on a global perspective to share certain websites that they use in their classrooms. And you're going to be creating your own questions and then taking it and creating the link within our own Teaching Innovations Wiki and we'll do this whole process on this video. So where you're going to go to start with is go out to the Google Apps where we've been in before and sign in. Once you sign in, come over here to where it says Docs. Go to New, down to Form, and here's the beginning of creating your survey. Okay, here we are with our form. Give it a title. In this case, I'm going to just say it's going to be a high school What you might even do is say uh, elementary English websites. And this is going to be just websites collected from educators across the globe. Okay, so after you've put a title in, put an explanation for the purpose of what your survey is for, go ahead and start putting in your questions. What I would suggest that you consider is asking for last name, first name, and email address, and leave those as optional. And the reason I want to say that you should do that is that you are asking for them to provide you resources. So this is one way that you can turn around and respond back to them for and thank them for contributing to the cause. So what you'll do here is we will go last name, leave it text. As you see, you have options for paragraph text. Multiple choice. Now understand multiple choice is single answer. Check boxes and let you have multiple answers and choose from a list. It's just that. You're going to provide a drop down list for them to choose a single item from. And we're going to go ahead and say done. If I check mark that, they would have to put the last name, but again, we're making this optional. So we're hitting done. We're going to come to this one, come over to the pencil. This is where you can edit. If you wanted to copy a question and just change a couple words, you can by choosing duplicate. Or if you want to, you can go ahead and just delete it by clicking on the trash can. So we're going to go ahead and Ask for first name and hit done. Now we're going to come up here to the top and we're going to go text. And here we're going to say And again, and then we're going to hit done.
Okay, some other stuff again to consider right up here or in your title. Explain to them what you're looking for. Are you looking, if you're in elementary teaching, are you looking for grammar websites? Are you looking for English websites? Obviously, if you're a math teacher, are you looking for any kind of website with math? It's an interactive tutorial. Explain that to them. So, for example, you might on your next question go and say text. We may go ahead and say website for grammar. And then just say, we'll make this one a required and say done. Now the next thing you could do is come up here to theme. From theme, you're going to have 68 options for different backgrounds. Kind of browse through, find one that interests you that's appropriate. Don't just get one that's cool and because it looks wild and neat. Make it kind of appropriate for what you're trying to accomplish. And as you see, just press next to go to the ones that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and choose blue by clicking on it. Here's a preview. If that's the one you want, hit apply. Otherwise, go to cancel, and you can go back and select. So we're going to hit apply. Now, we're back in edit mode, but yet right here it tells you the theme. That's what you're going to need to make sure that it shows up there with what you want. So anyway, you can continue to add more questions here. This is up to you. This is your project, your way to gather information. What we're going to do now is come right down here at the bottom and copy this URL. That's going to be the way that we're going to embed it into our wiki, or I shouldn't say embed, we're going to provide a link in the wiki for those participants or ones willing to contribute resources to click on it and go. Okay, so we've got our form created, we've copied our link, your next step is to go to our class wiki, and again that's Teaching Innovations. I already had it open. What you're going to do then, once you get to the website, is you're going to come over to the right hand side to the menu options. And we're going to click on Website Surveys. Here on the Website Surveys, you see I've already provided your names. So, next step for each of you to do is go to Sign In. Sign in with your username and password that you created for the wiki. Once you sign in, it returns you to the page. So, for example, let's say that I'm doing this as wish Ashley Winters. So, what I'm going to do next is go up to Edit. Make sure you have the bar across here. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put a little space in it. And then I'm going to type whatever you're teaching. For example, elementary classroom websites. If you're physical education and health for middle school, high school, put that there. Once you have the title there, what you need to do next is highlight the title, 
So what you're going to do to highlight is, while holding down the mouse key with your cursor here, get your cursor here, hold down the mouse, or the, excuse me, the button, or your control key, and drag over the top to the point that what you just typed is highlighted. Come up here to where you see that looks like the links from a chain. Click on this. This is your new window. You have a wiki link, external link, and anchor. We are going to go to external link. You're going to now paste or control V your address. That was the address that we highlighted on the bottom of the form, which again was right here. Down at the bottom, we highlighted that.